Hey everybody, welcome back to another one of my videos. My name is Hector Acuna. I'm an artist living in Southeast Wisconsin. Um, today I'm making a really short little travel kind of painting video. I'm heading over to Port Washington, Wisconsin. Um, a few weeks ago, uh, actually probably about a month ago, I was over in that part of the state for a plein air one day painting event um, organized by the Mercantile Plaza Arts like gallery. Um, the event went really well. My painting that I made was awarded like best of show or first place. Um, however, I never received the full perspectives for the show and because of that I didn't know that there was a price limit um, for your painting. So I made a pretty large painting that was like way beyond the um, price limit of $500 and even though they still allowed me to submit my painting and it received the award. Um, we sort of agreed after the show that, you know, I suggested what if I came back another day, made a painting that was a size that fit the price limit of the event and they were okay with that. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm driving from Grafton over to Port Washington. Uh, sorry for the noise, my van is pretty loud. Um, but I'll try to record a couple of clips throughout this six by eight inch painting that I'll be making today. So enjoy the video. If you're not subscribed, consider following my YouTube channel and let me know if you have any comments or questions. All right, just got to Coldock Park in Port Washington. This is the park where we had our plein air one day painting event. So I figured I should probably come back to the same place. This is part of the view that I painted last time. Um, these trees were not this beautiful golden orange and yellow um, spectrum like they are today. So I might try to paint some of those trees. Um, for my painting I made last time, I was sitting right by the uh, little cement block there at the end of the path right before the corner. Uh, but I'm going to walk around and figure out what to paint. The gallery closes at 4 and it's just about 2 o'clock, so I'm going to have to work really quickly on this painting. So I better get to work. Alright, so I have my setup here and I forgot my palette box. I didn't think I was going to need it, but because I framed up my panel that took this mast part out. So luckily I had some clamps and I could just put my little um, cigar box off of the wooden mast on my easel. I think this is going to be part of the view that I'll paint today. I'm just going to try to keep things pretty loose um, and simple. Hopefully it turns out okay. I'm going to try my best not to get paint on this inside part of my handmade frame here. These are the colors I'll be using and let's see how it goes. Okay, so now it's about three o'clock and I decided to change up my view. Uh, I wasn't happy with this sidewalk perspective, I think because I had already painted this and it felt like I was just trying to redo what I've already done. So I decided instead to focus on um, part of the harbor piers. And when I walked up to this fence line, I really liked how dark the water was along the um, edge of the uh, pier and how the water slowly lightened up and started to reflect some really beautiful warm colors um, from everything that's in the sort of setting sunlight here. Um, so that's my view and this is where I'm currently at on the painting. This is about 45 minutes of painting and I'm going to try to finish it up in the next 30 minutes and take it over to the gallery. All right, this is where the painting ended up. It's 3.30 now. Uh, get a close-up shot for us. It's really hard to see it without glare, but here's an idea for you. Here's my palette. And I mostly used, uh, I only use these three brushes here two synthetic flats and one hog hair bristle brush that's a filbert shape. And there's our subject. 
All right, time to go title the back and head over to the gallery. Thank <laughs> you. 